got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So the Gary Goss, uh, Goss, no, not Goss, Scott, <laughs> Gary Scott boat. We brought this as a DLC pack. Now we're, the reason why I'm showing you this video is because you will understand why. But anyway, we get there. This is the best boat on the game, the DLC Gary Scott boat, and I'm gonna sell it. And when I say sell it, is I can basically exchange this boat in and get 400 and something odd bait coins. I have 96 bait coins. The reason why I'm doing this, let's jump in the boat. The reason why I'm actually doing this is because I use bait coins whilst live streaming. We live stream from Monday to Friday. Sometimes I do on the weekends if I'm not busy. If I'm busy, then I always put out a video at least. Recently, I've been doing a live stream every day and posting out a video at the, the same day as well. So I'm keeping the channel very busy, showing you new lakes, new DLCs, rods, boats, all of the good stuff that Fishing Planet has to offer. As soon as them updates come, we push them updates out to you as quick as we can. We do use face cam as well, whilst live streaming and mic, but I don't use it when I make short video clips like this, just because I'm chilling, I just randomly hit record and I make good videos. So you can troll on this Gary Scott boat, which is good. You can troll around on it. Well, we had a bit of a frames problem going on right there. And the boat is really fast. But the reason why I'm selling it is because I need those bait coins to when we're live streaming. So we don't have too much downtime. So we can keep catching fish at a fast pace. And I do need to jump days forward. And obviously that is costing me a bait coin. I could fish there a bit longer so I don't have to use a bait coin, but I don't like to do that just again because of downtime. I like to keep the stream entertaining, making it look good, uh, showing the game for what it's worth, which is a great game. I've played this game for about four years in total, probably a little bit longer, but I'm going to say at least four years. This boat is fast. I am going to miss it. I'm sad to see it go, but I have to do that because I keep spending so much of my own real money. Uh, buying bait coins to keep these streams entertaining and to give me a break from buying bait coins for a little bit By selling this boat is going to probably save me around about 20 pounds in real money because otherwise I would just buy bait coins Yeah, so I have to buy bait coins to keep it entertaining. I am going to miss this boat. It is fast This is hell fast so We get like 52 52 miles an hour, it's pretty good. So we are in Blue Crab Island, just to mention that. Okay, so time to go sell this boat. I'm gonna miss it. I literally just come in here, I didn't fish at all. I come in here just to show you this boat first. It's, I'm gonna be sad to see it go, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really wanna sell it, no. But my cash flow is a little low. I'm struggling to buy premium for this game at the moment. So because of that reason, I am now going to be selling this boat so it gives me bait coins so I can keep jumping days forward whilst live streaming to keep to keep the downtime at a very minimum so we keep catching fish after fish. So to sell this is what we are going to do before we do sell it. We're going to come along here, we're going to go to boats, we're going to buy ourselves a new boat because these boats can, compared to the other ones, it's kind of funny because they, there's not a lot of difference between that boat and this boat. And that's why I'm going to show you now that by me selling this does not really bother me too much other than that boat does look nice. That's it. That's the only reason why I like that other boat. But we're going to buy that one. It's took a massive, massive chunk out of our cash. And then we're going to go along to here and we're in our home storage. So we're going to go to our boat. We've also got this one as well. I love the dinghy. I could sell the dinghy, which will give me a bit of extra cash, but I don't really need the extra cash too much. And I like trolling on the on the dinghy. We, could, we actually made a video of trolling. That was really, really good. So Gary Scott, let's apply that. So now I'm able to sell this one, but I can also repair it. So first, let's repair it. That's very expensive. Just so that way it try and gives us that extra little bit more gold cash. So we hold circle. And it will give us now 500. I thought it was going to give us 400 cents. So obviously me repairing it has given us that extra little bit more bait coins. 500 bait coins. It's gone. It's done. No. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> okay, so working it out. 500 bait coins. There's 300 there and 2 and 2 there. So that's, yeah. So it saves me around about 20 pounds. Saves me buying bait, bait coins for a little bit. So now we're going to head back to Blue Crab Island. 
and we're now going to drive this boat and look at the difference. I did have this boat once before. We did a video on my other channel, just showing this, just showing this boat, not even showing the other boat, just this boat. And they got like over 27,000 views. You guys really liked it. I don't know why, but you did. But anyway, we're going to jump through a room. We're going to go to uh, a friends only for a moment, just because I don't want to get in anybody's way. Because we're just driving around showing this boat. I don't want to be, I don't want to be annoying to anybody. So anyway. I did have this boat before, as I said, it was a very good boat, I did like it, it was fast, I've forgotten how fast, and I've forgotten a little bit about this boat, it's been a while since I've owned it, it has been a little while. We do play PC and we do play PS4 as well, just to mention, I'm going to change days so it looks a little bit better for you guys, there we go, That's the, there you go, there's another bait coin, you see what I mean, I eat through bait coins like crazy, so 596 bait coins will probably last me anything between three weeks maybe a month at the most it does depend on how much I'm playing and obviously how much I'm jumping forward for you guys I still love this boat I do love this bass boat I do love it it's, it's it is a nice boat so the steering wheel and stuff still looks really good we still start the engine in the same way we can still uh, okay we can still troll around the same way we still have the fish finder there so again not much of a difference this boat does cost a lot of money. I definitely think this boat is worth buying, considering it's, it's a game. Uh, a game. Considering it's a boat that you can buy from your money that you're catching the fish. This is definitely the boat you could buy the lower end boats to start off with. But when you've got enough money, this could be the main boat that you go for. Instead of buying the DLC, if you don't want to buy the DLC, the DLC is definitely worth it. I just re recommend that saltwater pack. Um, for Blue Crab Island, you get a fish here for 30 days. It kicked me out, out after 28 days. That could have been a glitch. Gave me 30 days premium. Gave me rod, um, spinning rod, reel, lures, bait, um, cash, different, uh, some bulk, gold coins and cash. Gave me different types of lures and stuff. So for 30 pound was really worth it. We also got the the best boat that we now no longer own. I feel kind of sad. It's a sad day on Fishing Planet, but it's not all bad because this is still a very good boat. Let's check it out. It's been a while since I've uh, took this to top speed, so let's see how fast it does go. It doesn't look like it does go as fast as the other one, but what I remember, I'm pretty sure it's damn close. Let's see. Uh, okay, 46. And the other one did 52. Okay, we had 47. 47 if I move around a little bit. <laughs> if I move around a little bit, we get 47. The turning radius, I wouldn't say, is... Uh, it's not bad. The turning radius isn't bad. I wouldn't say it's as good as the other one. It does feel, somehow it does feel a little different. So it's not as fast as the other one by minus a little bit. Not, not very much, so... If you don't own that boat and you only own this boat, this boat's still just as good. I still still recommend this boat. I hope this video helped you out on making up your mind whether you was going to buy the DLC for Blue Crab Island. As I say, if you don't have it, I definitely recommend it if you're not level, high enough level to get in this place. Whether you buy that or not, it will automatically put you to this lake. So that's really good. Even if you're not a high enough level, you can able to get here and fish here. So I definitely recommend buying it it is definitely worth it i'm not sponsored or anything by fishing planet for me to say that i just say that because i really like the game i enjoy the game and it's just completely my opinion more than anything else but we can troll on it we can go almost as fast as the other boat not completely but almost as fast so still a good boat still i do really like it yeah good boat <laughs> i'm gonna make another video on this boat as well we do some fishing off it we have showed missions for all different lakes as well, if you want to do missions. Welcome to our new boat. <sighs> Say goodbye to the old one. It's gone. It's over. <laughs> I hope this made up your mind. Drop a like if this helped you out in any way of making a decision on buying a new DLC. Leave comments below if you've got anything to ask. Drop a like. We catch you people soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.